to demonstrate the four step hypothesis process um, or the um, four steps in any research um, uh, method or research process I would like to use these examples uh, comparing the height uh, between the male and female uh, population in the United States um, I have collected four it would be 39 I have collected 39 females randomly similar selected and 39 males uh, height data now I would like to see um, uh, my research question is whether they're equal um, as you know we really don't need to uh, run any statistical test to um, say that female is shorter than male or male is taller than uh, female um, so um, I however I like to do it uh, just to make the point and to explain the four step process the p-value level of significance writing down all the hypotheses uh, all four steps uh, a little bit uh, in in a way so it makes more sense so let's start uh, with the uh, first step step number one is the writing down the hypothesis and as you know there are two hypotheses null hypothesis um, so we can write the mean height ci of the mean height of us male is equal to the mean height of us female and then the alternative would be the mean height of US male is uh, taller is more say is more than the mean height of US female so um, we could write not equal like we did in some other cases it depends on how much information we have about the situation if we have more more information we know that male is taller in that case we can say yes the mean male height will be uh, more than the mean uh, female height uh, so we can go a little bit farther in our hypothesis writing uh, so that we can have a better conclusion now method step number two is the method in this case we can run a two sample t-test now it is not easy to determine which method is appropriate for what kind of test um, at this um, moment it is difficult and uh, however as we go forward we will understand how to pick uh, peak appropriate method um, so excel can do the uh, analysis for us so we can simply get the p value from the excel so we can write a formula called equal t test that will produce p value from um, two data set it says array one which is data set one and then comma at a two data set two comma and then it is asking for either one tail distribution or two tail distribution now that depends on our alternative hypothesis if the alternative hypothesis is one-sided then it will be one tail um, distribution in this case it is one-sided it is uh, more than um, if we would write something like not equal in that case it would be either more than or less than so there are two sided two tail in this case it is one tail so we can just choose one and then type is what type of t-test there are three different types of t-tests we'll explain that later let's pick the equal variance uh, or unequal variance to sample three for unequal variance and hit OK we'll get this uh, p-value if you look at it this is very small 0 0.00006 uh, six zeros and then six seven so uh, almost um, six out of 
one million is uh, let me change that to some different format so basically seven out of a million time if we if we run this study then there will be a chance that um, the mean height of um, female could be taller however in this case it's not so the the chance is very low so we because the chance is very low to for this null hypothesis to happen so we reject this um, hypothesis so step number three is the result so we write the result this way we reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is uh, smaller you don't have to write two is small just smaller um, than the level of significance which is 0 0.05 if it's not mentioned now we'll also have to write the contextual conclusion so our audience without any statistical uh, background understand uh, so step number four contextual conclusion we will simply write rewrite the null hypothesis so in a way without uh, telling us the t-test p-value level of significance all the statistical jargon so in the contextual conclusion we don't include any statistical jargon we write in a way so an eighth grader understand what uh, is going on here so simply we reject the null hypothesis meaning that we accepted the alternative so we say the mean height of u.s male is more than the mean height of u.s female um, so we also include a couple of wordings like uh, statistically statistics statistically the mean height of u.s male is significant significantly more than the mean height of US female um, we, we include that word is statistically and significantly which um, tells the word significant you should never use that unless you, uh, you, you you have done some statistical analysis so avoid using that was as an engineer or you know for uh, that matter uh, don't use that unless you do a statistical a statistical analysis so um, it, it says it's significant means that the data it comes from the data uh, statistically significantly uh, the mean height of US male is higher than the female however remember don't do a statistics analysis on male and female something we don't we know for sure um, that is called deterministic system we never use a statistics to um, to run um, analysis on a deterministic system we only use statistics uh, for something that is uh, not known or may change uh, things like that so this this is an explanation of the four-step process that we use to hypothesis testing.